Hey man, what's up YouTube? Today I'm gonna show y'all boys how I trade the markets, my strategies, and all that. I'm just gonna give this shit straight out the damn plate, nigga. Let's go. <clears throat> I've used securities to trade using TradingView. The indicators I use are the MACD, the RSI, stock RSI, Bollinger Bands, volume, and moving averages. In the bull market, I enter my trade when the stock RSI and the RSI is less than 30. And in the bear market, I place my puts when above 75 RSI, stock RSI, and above 75 regular RSI. Now I use the MACD to predict when the crossover happens. All right. <clears throat> chart analyzing day trade. Look at the day trading chart on the right. Look at the MACD RSI and the stock RSI. That's this right here. They say determine whether the trade is bearish or bullish. Look at the price action in the RSI. And is the RSI trend going up or down? Well, from this example right here, we look at the MACD. It bounced up. It was, look like it was losing volume, but then it bounced up. So it looked like the trend may continue to reverse. Then they say, look at the RSI. All right, so this is the RSI. The RSI is above the 50 line. It normally bounces above that, and it did. So it might try to fill it all the way to 80, or it might try to do reverse, but I think it's going to try to keep going up. And they said, also, look at the stock RSI. The stock RSI. All right, so yeah, the stock RSI literally did bounce at 50, and it is going up. So I say that this trend is short-term bullish. You know what I'm oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. Now I said, look at the four-hour chart. Said, depending on the trend from the day chart, find the support or resistance. Once found, identify if any RSI indicators are bottom or maxed out. If no indicators are maxed out, then what direction are they going? So I believe this is the same example from this right here. As you can see, 21,000, then they're like 21,000. Oh, yeah, it's the same indicator. All right, so this is what it looked like on the day chart. But on the full chart, you see that it's starting to go down. Like when it hit that down, the purple line, that's the now move average. All right, so this is another example. This is my view of Bitcoin on the four hour. I'll try to give y'all as many examples as y'all can. This is your clear cut for y'all. All right, so from this, me, I say this is bearish. All right, you see that the volume is starting to go down. You know, with dark green, starting to go light green. If you know from based on my other tutorials, light green to dark red, bearish. All right, now you see the top of the stock RSI was at the top and starting to go down. It's another bearish indicator. Then the regular RSI was at the top and starting to go down. But it looked like it's fading off, but that's still another bearish indicator. It just means that, you know, it's been going up for a long time. So it might take a while for it to start going down, but it looks like within time, it's going to go down for sure. Chart analyzing day trade. All right, so look at the one hour. It's a trend bearish or bullish. It's a nine moving average above the 12 moving average. If it is, the trend is bullish. If not, the trend will be bearish. What I mean by that is a crossover. Is the trend getting weaker? Is the MACD dark red or dark green? How I just showed y'all? Any, are any of the RSI's maxed out? These are questions you have to make sure you ask yourself before you enter a trade. If not, you're gonna lose $5,000 just like me. And you don't wanna lose no money. If not, patiently wait for something to happen. My view of Bitcoin on the one hour chart. All right, so one hour. This is the same of the um the four hour, like this right here. This is the same. See how it's 20,000, blah, blah, blah. Now look, 20,000. All right, so now as you see, it was bearish on the four hour. But now on the one hour, you can see why it's going down slowly because it's not trying to break above this 50 mover average for this Bollinger Bands. And then you look at the MACD, it looks like it's starting to want to go up, but it's like the first time it attempted to go up it bounced back and went back down some more. You see how it went dark red some more? So that might be what it's trying to do again. But then you look at all the other indicators, the stock RSI is at the bottom. That's why you gotta be careful because the stock RSI does not mean that the trend is gonna guarantee reverse. That's why you gotta make sure you have confirmations like crossovers and all that. See a crossover at the top. So me personally, I never put a put, especially if it crosses over. Like don't deviate from your trading strategy. That's how you fuck up. All right, now the stock RSI. She was at the top and it's starting to fade off and fade off. But even though it's at the top, you see how it still went up? That's why you gotta be paying attention to like the long term trend. Cause that's how fucked up is it. I had a trade in with the R, the 15 with the R size at the bottom at 930. Tell me why the 15 with the R size ain't go up all day, not even to the end of the day. It's still going down. I lost like that was $700. Now how to be patient. Set a fucking alerts. I would set alerts on the one hour. 15 minute and the five minute time frame. 
set the alerts on the one hour stock RSI for 80 and 20. Then set the alerts on the 15 minute stock RSI for 80 and 20. And the regular RSI for 70 and 30. Right, that's like when you find your trade, when you get your pattern, you have to set alert on your phone. Nobody say, bro, you ain't got that little trader view tutorial with the little trial version, bro. Go ahead and pay that little $10 a month. It's worth it, it really is. So then step five, once the alerts go off, analyze the charts on the five minute, 15 minute, and one hour time frame, and then determine whether you want the price to go up or down. Then if you're expecting to move down, if multiple indicators are bearish, then you want to place puts at the 15 minute RSI curve downwards. Look at the five minute and the one minute to confirm the down chain. And what I mean by multiple indicators are bearish, just like the MACD, the stock RSI, and the regular RSI. You know, so those are indicators. Then say if you're expecting to move up, if multiple indicators are bullish, place calls. Cause when the price goes up, you bet on the price going up. And if the 15 minute curves upwards, look at the five minute, one minute to confirm the uptrend. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you gotta make sure you have to look at the long term, then you break that shit down to the short term. Okay, my view, my view of Bitcoin on the 15 minute. All right, so this is the same thing from right here. See how I did, how I had that little start right here. See, I had the little start right here, same chart. As y'all can see, 15 minutes for Bitcoin was at the bottom. So, you know what I'm saying? Had bounced up a little bit, going up, not going up too much, and didn't even cross. See, that would say you gotta wait for the cross. Like, I wouldn't play no calls until I see a cross. And this is 15 minutes. I normally wait for like an hour cross, anyways. Then later on that day on the four hour, look at this. My trade was successful. You see, because when I first showed the example, it was stuck up here and it was lagging. See, this is the 15 minutes. See how it bounced up right here? That basically like what it did right around here. I was just stuck at the top. Like how I did that shit right around here. And as you see later on that day, they started to fall down. The trend kept on falling. I wish it had the actual down price, but you can see from the other, the first, see this was at, it was at 20,600. And you see it was barely passing these lines. And then this was Thursday the 27th, October, 2022. Boom. I'm saying Sunday, October 30th, 2022 at three. Shit was going down. You know what I'm saying? It's going down. It's going down. Then later on that day also, so you can see on the four hours started going down. On the one hour also started going down. You see how on the one hour example I showed y'all, I was like, it could possibly go up, but you don't know for sure. You know, look at the four hour time frame. But now look, you see on the four hours starting to go down, the one hour starting to go down. You see? The RSI, the stock RSI is all the way at the bottom, and it's it's not going up no further past like 30. I would say you gotta watch your trades. I would've, I would've, if I bet calls and I was expecting it to go up, and once I saw that the MACD went cross up, I would've pulled out. Later on that day, this is the 15 minute. See the 15 minute, it started breaking down, just falling, 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 falling. You see the 15 minute, it really never hits all the way up top again. It just stays bearish. It stays damn near below the 50. Um, regular RSI. How to pull out? You know what I'm it's like conclusion. How to pull out? Based upon where you drew your support resistance, you should exit your trade. Where your alerts go off, exit. Let me say, my alert that go off yesterday, fucked up. I lost five thousand dollars. No, I'm hurt still. I just lost another one thousand seven hundred last week. Or you could go based off of your indicator alerts. Like what I mean by indicator alerts, I mean like when the RSI gets maxed out or the stock or I get maxed out. And other alerts is the price alerts. I do set alerts directly on my support and resistance. Then the trade may reverse soon, so you gotta collect your profit and get the fuck on. You know when the 15 minute and the one hour RSI reset, exit the trade, man. Like, that's just my scale. I said that's how I trade. But now I'm gonna try to see about holding a little bit longer. Cause I realize I can make a whole lot more money if I was staying in my trades for an hour longer. So you know what I'm saying? It's your boy K20 Lakes and I'm out. If y'all want any more videos, tutorials, any of that, hit me up. Y'all know where to find me, man.